Right, it's a little difficult to discern what's going on and I do apologise but uh, yeah, I'm just testing these alum cells out this is the original which I've now tipped out the contents, the original contents out and put into this one because I haven't got much alum and this one's now got a fresh solution of purified water which is this uh, smart water stuff from Kmart and uh, some more alum in there so this one's now charging away on my SSG there, it's a three coil one and I had to repair it because uh, one of the cats knocked it off here <laughs> and the power supply is uh, an old Belmore there, 4 amp 12 volts and this draws about 400 milliamps currently 3.83 on this, on this cell here this one with the contents just dropped in is copper and the galvanised steel and it, uh, it runs that dual peak just fine as it is, this is before any charging okay, right, it's about 3.88 now, if I disconnect and this collapses quickly I'm most likely going to put copper in there anyway, looking at how this one's going on which is great I'll disconnect okay, so this is with the fresh alum mixture There. It's half an hour later now, and this graphite and galvanized steel first cell is now settling out at about 1.9 volts. The other one, which is burnt copper and galvanized steel, is charging at 2.03. So, what I'll do is I'll uh, disconnect and switch off here, and we'll see what happens to this one and we straight down to 1.1 now first of all we'll see what happens with this one and the amperage I'm pretty sure this is just going to uh, end up as pretty much nothing that's why I want to replace that graphite because it's far too thin. Now let's spin it around. We've got started off at 20 something and that's probably going to come down pretty quickly. On the other one it's now at 1.05 but the amperage should stay a lot more solid. Oh heck, <laughs> look at that. Started off over 110. Now where it settles to, that's the thing for running loads. Here we are a while later as you can tell because there's no tray in the background. And it's basically bottomed out there at about 48 milliamps. Just a note on the end here, I've just switched back over to volts and it's coming back up a bit. And so we're looking at a volt and 50 milliamps which is uh, yeah, that's pretty usable. Okay. Here we are, a bit of a proof of the pudding you might say. We've got the uh, Allen Pills bottle number two there running this pulse motor. No, oh, it's a levitator one. Not exactly balanced that well and the coil's a bit big. So that's why it's offset. But uh, this is a good test for the cell anyway. Okay. And here's the original, which I'm very happy to see now that I've changed over from the graphite to the burnt um, copper that it's able to run this pulse motor too without uh, the amp amperage dropping off at all. So, there we go. Both of them have turned out pretty well.